the drivers of deforestation are mostly, mostly outside the forests. The drivers of degradation, they are much more usually linked to the forest, but in particular for deforestation, they're mostly outside the forest because mostly it's agriculture, but it's also mining, infrastructure, for example. So if you want to change behavior, right, to do less impacts of agriculture on the forest or of mining, something like that, you have to work with the agriculture people and the mining people to change that. And so basically you have to work outside the forests to actually um, yeah, address them. And so basically what the landscape approach suggests is to think a bit more holistic about it, right? To think a bit about what's, what's not about the forest, but it's the interaction of forests and other land uses and other things that are happening within an area, which, you know, a landscape is a good synonym of something integrated that happens on the land that affects forests, but also other things. And so if you think about it broader, you think about forests and agriculture, forests and mining forests and land use, Think about stakeholders, people involved to track, you know, how VET Plus, which incentivizes carbon improvements in the forest, right, but then has also effects outside the forest, not only drives driven by things outside the forest, but also has effects outside the forest that, okay, thinking about it holistically does make a lot of sense. And that's where I think the landscape approach is the right thinking, huh? although I think it's not very specific at this point, right? It's, it's a concept, but it's the right thinking to, to try to capture the complexity of the issue. Uh, that's a good question. And, but basically, I mean, we just did this study where we looked at you know, how countries have taken up understanding of drivers into the planning direct plus interventions. And for the countries where we they did not take, develop a very good link between what the drivers are and what their interventions are, they tend to focus on forest related things sustainable forest management, plantations, uh, afforestation, reforestation, rehabilitation, that kind of thing. The ones who take drivers on board in terms of trying to think, okay, this is the driver and based on that driver I'm planning this intervention as my red plus activity. Then you start to see that there, there are a lot of things are much more happening more outside the forest. And that was quite an interesting understanding of if countries do consider drivers well in their interventions. Their readiness plans and their VET plus intervention plans look quite different than from those that haven't done it. And that's a very important thing that, I mean, these thinking is just starting to emerge within countries. And that some countries have basically perhaps a bit more catch up to do now that there's a substantive decision that should, that in particular encourage them to address drivers of deforestation. So that's, that's an important result. And as I said, that basically means think broader than forests. And it also means monitor broader than forests. Huh? So that's the other thing. And then if you think about that from a very red plus perspective, it basically you will end up in something integrated landscape kind of setting. Think broader and perhaps think more integrated, think more landscape. One of the things for the landscape scale thing, I mean, the, the, uh, there is a, because of, Thinking beyond forests, thinking more holistic, think about also, you know, socioeconomic dimension, governance dimensions, and all that kind of stuff. Usually that does a tendency that this all becomes more complex, right? And that's also what science does sometimes, or oftentimes, it makes things more complex, right? On the other hand, we are now, things that are supposed to work in the real world, they, trend, they have a tendency that they should be simple, because otherwise they don't work. And so there will be there can be many things what landscape and also red plus performance on the landscape scale can mean but one of the key things is to figure out so what indicators what things you can what few things you can actually try to assess you can efficiently assess to really track the most important dimensions and impact chains of red plus on the landscape scale so landscapes it can be everything and a lot but there will also have to be some kind of narrowing down process if you say okay we want to now or operationally or consistently or sustainably assess the, the effects of red plus in, in, in a landscape con context. So, and that's part of the research, in fact, that should happen now, is to look, so what are these things? What impact does red, red plus has on the landscape scale?